Do you hear that? Do you hear that? Bye bye. Bye bye. I'm. Oh, uh oh. I'm just trying to stand on my standing desk, and the scariest noise is when one of your cords gets stuck. But look, listen to me. Hey, I can still see you. We're going to be drafting Lord of the Rings. It's my third draft post release. We got hosed in the uh, pre release, 0 and 9. And since then, we've only had winning drafts, and I don't expect to quit anytime soon. Oh, that's that's actually a great joke, birthday party, that I, I'm not uh, sinking. I'm just becoming a hobbit. Where is this draft, huh? Where is this draft? So here's kind of my general sensation of this draft, is it doesn't feel like it's super aggressive. It doesn't feel like you can, you know, sort of splurge with uh, a pile of two drops and kind of out-aggress in a generic sense. That kind of feels the way that MTG1 felt. Uh, it doesn't have anywhere near the power level of March of the Machines, the last draft format. Um, there's not a lot of good card draw, redraw type things in this. So it really feels like one of the big ways to play is to get one or two sort of enabler type cards onto the battlefield and really leverage the heck out of them. Whether it be, you know, what is this one? Put counters. This action thing is quite good. Scry true, put two plus plus counters to target creature you control. Till end of turn, when target creature dies, uh, draw two cards and that creature fights up to one other target creature. That's okay. I reveal this card. Hell yeah. Saruman. We just played with this one. We have Grand. I like Grand. It's fun. Legolas, counter of kills. Whenever you scry, if Legolas counter of kills is tapped, you man. Tap it and do this only once you turn over an opponent. If your opponent controls dies, put a plus one plus one counter of Legolas. Huh. I'm getting Grand. <laughs> I'm getting Grand. It's the most fun to say out loud, so we're going to select it. Um, all right, let's see what else is here. Sauron's Ransom. Choose an opponent. Look at four cards. Put them in a pile. Put them in your hand. The other into the graveyard. Okay. There's also an Erebor Flamesmith. I think that the the all-round strong card here is Quick Beam. I really like Quick Beam a lot. Deals a bunch of damage. Uh, Nasty End, Sack, draw two cards. Actually, I really liked this card a lot. So here's the thing. In the Amass decks are the ones that... All right, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go down the Amass plan. So the Amass decks are create a lot of fodder for sacrificing to happen, and Nasty End is an incredible enabler and an incredible response spell in those situations. LOL. Um, dude, there, there's gonna be a person that just gets Sauron, Sauron, Sauron. Growing Temps you, search level for a card that shares color, legendary, no. I, I mean, honestly, I think that Gwai here is ridiculous. I'm gonna go ahead and just mark this for now. But yeah, I, I, like, I like the ability to just this makes me want to get a whole bunch of uh, armies. This makes me want to be sacking a lot of these armies. I think it's actually quite good. Everything here seems real bad. I'm just not going to go down the black-blue route, I think. I guess. I guess I may as well. All, all these cards seem really bad for what I'm trying to do. Mortar or Muster. Draw a card, lose a life. A Mass Orcs won. Incredibly good card. Incredibly, incredibly, stupidly, ridiculously good card. So this is a Ramper that can also undo those. Dude, I think Mortar or Muster is very, very, very good. Every time it's been run against me, I'm like, damn, I want to get those cards. Uh, if I can just get more Mortar or Musters. Oh, dude. Oogluk. Yeah, I'm going to 
just mark an oogloop. What else do we have here? Mortar muster. I thought I thought that this is going to be really really good. I thought that this was better than the bat because the bat is when you sack a thing, they lose a life. Hey, look at this. Mortar trebuchet. Whenever you attack with one or more goblins and or orcs, create a two one colorless construct artifact creature token with flying named ballistic boulder. Hey. Bat is also when you create tokens. Oh. Bat is when you sack and make. Okay. It's another nasty end. These feel easy to pick up, but they feel better than I expected. Also, the windmills in the background remind me of Elden Ring. <laughs> uh, what else is here? Lost to Legend. Put target island store permanent into its owner's library fourth from the top. Ah, uh, okay. And they're all gone. All the good cards are gone. I mean, I suppose I'll just get Deceive the Messenger. I don't think I want a single other card here. Um, well... I mean, if I'm trying to splash for Oogluke, I suppose... does feel like a late sting. Maybe I'm overvaluing stings. Felt, this felt actually all right. And I've been seeing a good amount of white coming around. I guess this. Whenever it attacks, you may sack a pood. Yeah, we're just gonna be doing things that amass here, huh? There's another Hobbit Sting. Wow. You know, I, I'm gonna try to go down this um, blue-black amass path. Really? Uh, oh, this is not Sauron's. Okay. Why not? I'm almost certainly not gonna run that, but... Hey, he's surrounded by orcs. All right. My name is Sean, and I'm here to mill. All right, nothing here is really screaming to me more than Pelar Gear Survivor. Well, there's an Oliphant. That's a good point. But I, I, I'm going to get the Pelar Gear Survivor. I just, I in all my drafts, I've always sort of screwed up not having enough two mana things. Bitter Downfall. Destroy target creatures, control loses two life. Yeah, I mean, that seems just very, very good. So does Dunland Crabane. So does Book of Mazarbul. Ugh. Foray of Orcs. Yeah, no, I think I think Foray of Orcs. Foray of Orcs seems like the best one for us to get. I think it's gonna be Foray of Orcs. I'm a little concerned about the stack of four mana things. I mean, I obviously like removal. I think this is better removal. What does Gollum do? Ah, you sack and you can return it. Torment of Gollum I also found to be good. When this thing dies, a mass orcs one. I, I think Gollum is the better one. Ah, oh, Torment of Gollum is so good. I think Torment is insanely good. But I mean, look look at how thick this four drop slot is. 
I actually don't know. Things might actually just be still correct to get Torment. I mean, I'm really concerned about how many four mana things I have. Oh my god. So, maybe Ugluk is going to say goodbye. <laughs> Sack to destroy. Uh, time to ditch red. Could be, yeah. I'm picking this, I'm picking this, and then we're just going to go get a bunch of two drops as they come. Oh, Dead Marshes is pretty nice. Uh, I think these Deceive the Messengers might actually be reasonable. I mean, technically, these are cheap one-drops. But surrounded by orcs can also... Oh, hell yeah. Um, What do we got here? Probably just another marsh, to be honest. I'm actually just going to pick up this troll. I think that these, like, the consistency of being able to get... The consistency of being able to get a black mana. And I would really love to run this foray of orcs. I don't think we need to run Oogluk. This feels like it would be amazing in the red-black, but not in the blue-black. I'm going to get this, and I'm not sure we're going to run it. Oh, shit. Dude, I'm just, I'm just going to get it. We, we, we are four-drop city, baby. Treason of Isengard. Black Breath. Okay, we just... It's never gonna stop. When the Mouth Swarm enters battlefield, top by Mill Street cards and Mass Orcs. X, X the number of source we play. Okay, yeah, cool. Mouth Swarm, great. Uh, just gonna get the Mouth of Sauron. I don't even care. So I just want surrounded by orcs and two drops, huh? Mordor muster, great. This is this is it. Way more than Saruman the White. Don't even care. We just want to draw a card, lose life in a mass orcs. That's it. That's all we're doing. This is it. We just want things that we get. I, I think I literally pass Saruman here. I think so. I think we like literally do. I think. Jesus, do we? Read is good. Don't don't make eye contact with me. Don't even look at me. I don't even want to hear from you. All right, great. Oh yes, claim the precious. Yeah. This thing is the okay. Cool. Yeah, no, this is an easy claim the precious. We get some removal. Um. All right, we got surrounded by orcs. I'm literally gonna get as many surrounded by orcs as this game is gonna give me. Okay. I don't. I no longer think we need four of orcs. <laughs> Is this to any target though? Target creature, okay. I'm just gonna go for these. All right, cheap, cheap turkey. Captain of Umbar, sure. I actually think this card is like insane in this format. Island Cycler, fuck yeah. <laughs> so if I like go cut, cut, right, like this, just, it works. It just makes sense. 
Like this, this is this appears to be the deck. <laughs> I mean, all right, all right, this is the game. I don't know if we're gonna be able to mill uh, people, but uh, we are going to try our damnedest to mill people. A lot of ring sites lurking around these places. I mean. I, I, I tried to make this card work because I misread it. I thought it was, there's a lot of these kinds of cards in Black's history that has been like Death Touch or Indestructible or Lifelink. And for some reason I looked at that and I was like, oh, this is a card that gives a creature Death Touch and a mass is one. Perfect. Oh, that's right. We need to choose outcome. We went four and two. Great. I'm gonna get this. I know. I know it's a, l a little bit meh, but I, I, I'm re I'm really quite worried about staying alive. Dude, force surrounded by orcs. All right, great. It's mill. We made a mill deck. 16 land mill deck. And Rob's gonna be poopy in this deck. Hey, I mean, we'll tray up every once in a while. Probably this guy, done. Yeah, no, this is it. Or drop millin. Here we go. Starting the predictions. How many wins will I get? The predictions are now open. Uh, I am I'm profoundly concerned about how stacked in the four drop slot these things are. But note that we do have four and four. So it's more like we have eight cheap drops and then five and seven. If I put this turkey in, I'd probably cut the blue. Blue's a little bit less critical than the black. Yeah. I... I and I, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not actually 100 percent certain uh, about running the Shire, but I, I, I think I'm going to try it. Holy shit! I'm. Certainly the best player that's ever lived. Look at this. Look at this. Look, look at this hand. Look at this hand. This is a good looking hand. Fucking Elmo. Good old Elmo DE. One of my favorite maps after Dust 2. I think that Torment of Gollum is a weirdly good card because so many of the like, yeah, make your opponent discard stuff has been like very in the past uh, in draft, you know, two mana, look at their hand, dis discard something. Oh, fuck yeah. Wait, I can just do this. Show me what you got.
Holy shit. We're winning. It's totally fine. I mean, these three, these three tokens is gonna be good, but I'm gonna go ahead and have the Peller Gear Survivor just do some shit. Yeah, Lashin. Or in you said. Playing them all out. Two, one. Dude, I'm, I'm just on the mill plan. I'm not going to be afraid. Even if I'm just amassing orcs one, it's fine. Like, I really don't care. Protector of Gondor! Yeah, you want to kill it? Go for it. Kill it. See if I care. See if I give a shit. Well, there's 23 cards left. Not milling quickly, but we're milling. I mean, this is this is clutch gaming right here. Oh my god, fuck yeah. Ron. Dude. I don't believe it. Grand. Fucking Grand, dude. Grand. First pick. We're Granding. It is a good day to Grand. Surrounded by orcs. Oh my. So we're gonna have to decide, do I, am I gonna try to win through damage? Am I gonna try to win through attacking? Wait, wait, as long as it's your turn, you control army. Oh, I thought it was just in general. Yeah, I don't give a shit about that. Are you kidding me? What? Are you... Is this gamer joking me? What? Hound to the dread mouses. It says trample. Dude, Grand has trample. We're fine. Alright. Mills X cards, right? Let's do this. One, two, three, four. All right, great. That makes this flyer. I mean, this is pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, and I love it. This guy just didn't know that he had trample. It's so great. They've been grounded. They've been grounded. No one expects an operated machine to have trample. Like, that's how machines work in real life, so you just transfer that over into the game. You forget that you got Gron. All right. Want to know with the mill deck? Well done, me. Well done, me. Feels good to be myself. Classic Grand win. Sure feels that way. Let him Grand. 
to see if the messengers can, like, occasionally get two-for-ones in this. One of these. Now, play this. Claim the precious. Probably gonna be the one to do. I'm just gonna do this because my opponent like spends a spell to just kill this Peller Gear survivor. Sure. It's kind of okay. So we actually don't see anything. I'm gonna get the Mordor Trebuchet, and I'm gonna kind of hold things back. Spells fucking sucks, man. So, we have some choices. I'm just gonna get the very good defensive cards out, leave up to see the messenger. Yep, would love that. It's perfect. Seems fine. Seems fine, because now my opponent has a bunch of 2-2, two, 1-1, two, one, one, two, one. 1-1 one, one kind of things. So fine. Really isn't a big deal. Um, this is for goblins or orcs. This is a wall. This is an elf. This is a peasant, so. Creature. Nice. Nice. Legendary matters. But, I mean, it looks like we are building up kind of a potent pile of stuff here. It's no good attack that any of this stuff can do, so it's fine. Man, I, I just now that I'm having this in the hand, this feels very, very nice. I don't think we need to use Claim the Precious. I'm just gonna surround him by orcs. This player mills. Frodo. Frodo is a citizen and becomes a halfling scout. Frodo is a scout and becomes a halfling rogue. Frodo loses the game with the ring has been tempted you four more times. Holy shit. Whoa, that's pretty fucking sick. Okay. Yeah, I mean, like, this, this is a really solid pile of stuff to have here. Great. So this is where my opponent can potentially make a mistake. Okay, 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 okay. Actually, do like this. Doing this wrong. So we should pull this back. You block the big one and the little one. You two block here. Seems good to me. And then we should blow up this guy. This guy, and there we go. So I mean, now I actually feel like we are—we're just—we're secured. We're completely and totally fine. 
This is a very difficult position to lose in. Player does that stuff. I'm just going to do this straight up. These two things will go. My opponent will want to trade this. And now I have one, two, three in there. So at, at least three. That's good. And it's a 5-5. Five, five. Yeah, let's just start bonking. Justin says a lot of text for one mana. It's pretty good. Straw. Well, Grund. Okay, so let's... Get more power down. I actually probably should have swung with the mouth of Sauron as well. I think that was an error on my part. This next turn's gonna go well though. That's a good swing. Bang, pow, bang, bomb, boom. The ring tempts this bird. Dude, I think that the Mordor trebuchet is sick, man. Dude. Every time we've drawn Gron, we've... Whoa. We've won. Climbing up the ladder. One Lord of the Rings fan at a time. Shadowcast, is you interested in doing another Moonbreaker stream any, at any point? Yep. Doing another one in July. Because, like, dude, Moonbreaker... Moonbreaker has had steamcharts.com. Where? Ah, Steam Charts. Moonbreaker. Like. Like, Moonbreaker is a game in early access from the same people that made Subnautica. And, like, it had this huge spike when someone, when they released a new update and someone was just like, holy shit, this game's fucking awesome. Like, they immediately jumped up to a pretty healthy amount for an early access game. Because those of you who are curious, as a comparison, Subnautica had like 20 or 30 concurrent players in early access. Subnautica. Like, w probably the best survival crafting game of all time. Alright, so we're going to get the Nimrod Watcher, and then we're probably going to Sauron's Ransom to just get another land. Let's see what we draw here. Mortar Trebuchet is pretty good. Alright, well. Alright, let's build those walls. Happy to offer a trade. But I expect that my opponent will just let this through. Seems fine. Yeah. This is just Goblin or Orcs. Again, if you want to use a spell to just blow up the Mordor Trebuchet. I mean, I think that's completely fine. Because now it's back to small again, and I always have this trade. Target artifacts as long as you control this. Tap two target creatures, put a stun counter. Just tap to one. Try the scroll of Isildur. Yeah, dude, Subnautica is one of those games that I think is just one of the most unbelievable experiences a person can have if it is their first time. Playing it. Yep, don't even care. No blocks. I mean, it's it's just such an insanely good game. Let's throw on the ransom. 
Maybe get a land, maybe not. God, it's so good. What are some games in your eyes that were just magical for a first time playthrough? Because I, I think Inside was that for me, even though I was pissed off at the end because it was just such a roller coaster for like six straight hours. Um, oh yeah, Factorio. Oh my God. The feeling of launching your rocket in Factorio. It always felt so far out of reach. So far out of reach. Face down, face up, put one in the hand, the other in your graveyard. The ring tempts you. Sure, baby. Chainsaw says, imagine how much much more praiseworthy it would be if you beat Subnautica 2. I, I have actually watched through... We're taking this. Fucking actually great. That is exactly what I want. Oh, that's... I mean, this is, this is the best news ever. This is exactly what I wanted. Because now I don't have to chuck this one away. Yeah, it's really great news. Yeah, I, I watched playthroughs of all of it, Chainsaw. That's why I've seen how the game sort of continues. Yeah, Elden Ring was another game that was just, like, so movingly beautiful to me the first time I played. Oh, dude, Pontus is Wing Commander? Dude, those are some fucking old... That's an old reference, man. Wing Commander was the first, uh... Games made by... Chris Roberts of Robert Space Industry. Of Star Citizen fame. We're gonna play the troll of Kazad Boom. We're gonna chill. We expect that our opponent will likely want to banish from Edoras this, at which point we can just play Sauron, knowing that there's more value to be gained. New contender, but my house dot wad. Ooh, fucking what a selection. What a fucking selection. Holy shit. We'll take three and be happy about it. Bloodborne, honestly, my first Souls game, what an experience. Wow, dude, yeah, it's... Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez, oh, God, oh, jeez. Take the five, go to 11. I think that's okay by me. This fucking dude. How much do we get? Four. Mmm. Gamered. <laughs> Chubby Kitten says, hey oh, I'm used to watching YouTube content. It's different seeing you live. Megabellum has stolen my soul and it's all your fault. I thank you for it. End of bow. I'm playing it again tomorrow. I mean, it's fucking really insanely good. Okay, here's a question. What's a game that you started and finished, and in between when you started and finished it, you didn't read anything about it, you didn't talk to anyone about it, you just, like, dove in and just did that game and then withdrew and went, like, holy shit. Uh, of course. Exile away, my friend. Oh, dude, Dark Souls 2, Fez. Oh, I forgot about Fez. I want to replay that game. Well, now that I have a Steam Deck, I know how and when I'm going to be doing that thing. Hmm. Saruman, the white. Mordor Master at night. Blah. Let's start going in for the damage here. Because this, this guy, just, you know, he's already done his shit. Metroid Prime, KOTOR, Fable, Hollow Knight, Bioshock. Oh, a lot of Bioshocks. Now, this is one Dark Paladin says, Legend of Heroes, Trails in the Sky. I've not heard of that. <laughs> Celastic Crown of the Magister. Yeah, that's a game that you can just literally know life for, like, 
200 hours, and then just be like, Go what the fuck? Is this the only blocker? Alright. Hi, my name is Day9, and I'm here for the pain. This turkey. All right. Elm three. Blah. I misread this. Four, five, six, seven, eight. I misread this. I I'm mill health damaging them. Mill health dam. Wait, you mill them next turn? I mean, I'll, I'll mill a, a, a reasonable amount. Pretty reasonable. I'm thinking something like 13 next turn. Dies to the 2-2. Two -two. Ah. Great. Very good. A well-argued statement. I can... I believe you now. My opponent's gonna swingo dingo on this turn. Lest they fucking lose. It's a great deal of chumping in my future. X is the the mill X cards. Cause like these are inversions where it's mill three and then a mass X. This is a mass three and then mill X, and that just harmed my brain. Yep, yep, sure, 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 sure. So we're gonna do some big blocks here. We're gonna go. One, two, three, four, five. So if this is plus three damage, we lose. So we're gonna do this. So we, Lorian revealed, get a land, play surrounded by orcs, mill for 13. This kind of just guarantees it, right? Should have been this one, but whatever. All right, let's let's do this. Is it a removal spell? I won. Fully surrounded by orcs. Fully. Absolutely surrounded by orcs. Let me just put this over here. We have nothing but four drops. We do nothing but mill. Man, we have been crushing. This is the exact opposite of my first three drafts in this format. Well, also, my first three drafts, I just misunderstood one of the combat tricks that I thought gave Death Touch, and I just, like, kept running into that shit again and again. Going for it. Going for it right now. There it is. Swamp. Alright, let me. Alright, well, I mean, I, I know pretty plainly what I need to do now. Hello, it's me, Rohan. Yeah, 
Alright, Yon is an equipper. I mean, we're looking for land, basically. We'd love to have land. I really want a Lorien revealed. And that one's been pretty good for me. The name Mighty Beans is a great name. Left one says, I can't answer the game question. I've only played Path of Exile since 2015. Oh my god, this is the better choice. Hell yes. Alright, we're gonna... I'm just gonna do this right away. My opponent doesn't really have anything out right now. So I'm just gonna begin the process of growing this 3-3. I mean, my opponent is in the draw two colors. Or excuse me, the draw two. Um, yeah, the draw two colors. Faramir. First strike vigilance. Go. Ugh. So, I mean, there's some bounce effects here. So that would be. We'll talk. We'll talk. Oh, that's some good shit. Be nice to get some more blockers up, so I'm just gonna do this. I think I'm actually trying to hit a land drop every single turn for a bit. Because I want to claim the precious Mordor trebuchet. Then we can just do some huge surrounded by orcs stuff. Menildor! Totally fine if it deals damage. We got some foods. Oh, nice. Oh, I actually miscounted. We're in, we're in superb shape. So we're going to blow this up. That one. this trebuchet anymore. 6-6 six, six is pretty pretty good, honestly. Who do you want to gain what? Just leave back the haunt, I guess. Draw three, hoping to Mordor muster. All right. I mean, nasty ending one of these one ones seems good. How far away are we from just winning? Not that far off. That is a great outcome. So... I'll just muster. I'm trying to hit a land drop every turn. That is good news. So I'm, I'm just going to commit to this mill plan here. Nasty End is really nice defensively here. Vigilance, very good. Oh, that's right, it fucking draws. Oh. 
Oh, I'm so dumb. No. Oh, no. Oh, punished so hard. All right. Show me what you got. Ah, oh, Fear Fire Foes is pretty bad for us. I needed to do this earlier. I, I think that, like, I, I am I am tempted by the mills, but I don't think that I should be doing a lot of the mills. Because this just getting killed is... Wow, I did that just in time, huh? Tempted, did you say? Yeah, no, I thought it was a pretty funny joke myself. First strike block here. Vigilance. I do want to do this as soon as possible. Still holding back Urken Brand. Not holding back Urken Brand anymore. So, uh, how do I how do I actually want to do this? That's it. Okay, so if we can we can amass five, six how do we do this? So I think I just block sack. I think that's the best thing to do. Let two damage through. Sacrificing this guy. There's one of our helpers. Alright, I mean that'll that'll basically do it. So we can we can win we can win next turn. Dude, well this this mill list is kind of nasty. I don't think they can just deal a billion damage to me this turn, right? So I did it. This is the game. This is the game. What the can I say? Gold tier two. I sign off, captains. Do do do. Someone says evening, evening, and happy fourth. How's it going? Dude, it's going great. It's going. Fucking awesome, the Sofan. It's going so awesome, the Sofan. Fools to have doubted you, dude. I I doubted myself, and I'm never doing that again. I'm gonna sit down. I'm gonna sit down. I have, I have so much power coursing through my veins. Bigger is better. Ninety four sub for eighty six months in a row. Let's go. Bigger is better. Receive the messenger. Whole, holy, holy shit, what a hand. 
Bigger is better. Man cycling! Dude, Mortar and Muster, Captain of Umbar, surrounded by orcs. Mm hmm. Alright, I think I think Mortar Muster is fine to do as well. I think the Deceive the Messengers are just really good cards. Island cycling. Yeah. Alright. Spire of the King Yang. Bring it on. Aha. Alright, so I'm gonna play this. I'm actually I'm gonna play the Captain of Umbar. I think it's just fine. We have a blocker, we have a blocker, we're working towards surrounded by orcs. No. We have some more... I think... God, Deceive the Messenger is pretty slick. I got this because I was just looking for anything blue at the time. She was a opponent at the beginning of that player's... And they draw a card. They didn't attack that turn. What? At the beginning of that player's next step? Draw a card if they... Did, wait, 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 wait. Wow. Wait, wait, wait. So they're drawing cards? So that's, like, really helpful for our mill plan, huh? Yeah. Barmir is insane. Eren, the rider of Gondor. I keep forgetting that I need to buy this at some point because I really like that a lot. Never attacked him, man. Never will I ever. This card is just... This is the most ridiculous thing. He Like, his expression is like, I can't believe they printed me either. Like, this is... This is something magic right here. Yeah, shoot her. Oh. All right. I see no problems here. Oh, it's a spirit now. I see. All right, that worked out great. Dude, if we can just mill him out, mill him out and skill him out, that a mass. Dude, he's got more? <laughs> Didn't I just take this guy out? I just had this hand. I can't believe this is a spirit. Fog on the Barrow Downs. Alright, well. I mean, this is the. We're, we're actually. We're. We're both trying to kill him. This is great. Alright, show me what I got. Alright, Saruman time. I mean, we're literally going to chill, because we have a mill win condition. And they're accelerating the mill plan, and we, we have more presence on the board, which is great. Oh my god, yeah. Are you kidding me? It's fucking incredible. They've not yet cast a card that contributes meaningfully to the battlefield itself. Alright, 11. Yeah, I mean, it's been pretty good. Yeah, no, I, I totally agree. That's a great card. Prince Imrahil, a mass. Mass. Ugh. 
I don't know what that noise is where it goes, bah, but it is very close to the noise that the vampire lords make, and here's a might magic too when they attack. Blah. Try one. I'm gonna just go deeper because we we've only ever we only put a single surrounded by orcs in there, so we could actually have a surrounded by orcs off the top. Blah. This was the thing I needed to dunk in case they, uh, you know, dunk my orc army. I needed to hold one. Yeah, I got this guy. All right. right? Seems right. Oh, I didn't even see this fucking guy. This fucking guy. That's going to be a bit of an issue. just lose here, like, directly. I mean, we're, we're one turn away from the plan. Holy fuck! Is there, is there a way to live? Is there a way to live? Alright, so what, what are the ones that have the most amount of damage coming in? Because, like, This I can block, right? This is fine. Then I block this one. This one and this. Oops. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Damn, one turn off. All right. GG. Uh, you know, it's a little unfortunate, but, I mean, we almost beat Faramir on turn 4 with no answer. So, I actually feel okay. I think I needed to just go much more quickly towards the, you know, cast that and put it on top of the library plan. Uh, that's all right. Hmm. Doesn't look good enough. Looks, looks good. Looks good. Yeah, this is this is great. I'm doing this right now. Cause I'm lazy and deceive the messenger could be a good play. Uh okay, so I'll just play the Pelar gear over here. I can just play surrounded by orcs like immediately. Feels great. I think this Easterling Vanguard is great. This is just like a perfect sack card for red. Like super duper perfect sack card for red. Uh, 
I just needed one more land in the previous game. That would have been so good. This is gonna be insane if my opponent just like precious is this. Whoa! Holy shit! It's it, it resolves, man. It resolves. You got it, hundred <laughs> percent. Whoa! Oh, dude, that's a great card. I'm probably oath of the gray host. Opponent is afraid of being surrounded. Damn right. And, and, oh, the gray host making these spirits is great against this, like, sort of go wide silliness. All right, I'm hanging out. Man, dude, there have been so many. You know, I actually looked this up. There was, like, this question on PC Gamer's Twitter that asked, how many games are there? I mean, in their case, they were like, how many PC games are there? But like, that's an interesting question. How many games exist at all? I think that's a really interesting question. So remember someone, like, and I started to dig into this and there's like a round I think it's something like around 100,000 games for PC. And there's other estimations that go up to like a million. Yeah, I'm good. Hey, I love that play. Fuck yeah. It's me, Saruman. May as well bonk him. Ow. I mean, I'm just gonna keep my one ones in the air back, you know. And, and again, when I say how many games exist, I mean like something that you could download, or more precisely, something you could conceivably download to play. Not like. Hey, I'm just sitting here and I have a game and it's in my mind. Do we count that or not? Like, you know, like a, a digital game that you could download and play with a buddy. So we have to hurry this up quite a bit. Yeah, browser games are theoretically downloadable. Yeah, absolutely. Right, like something that, that exists as a like, you know, conceivably downloadable thingy. So we amass first. Blah! I don't, I think we actually have to race. I think we have to begin swinging with the 6-6. Six, six. Yeah, and when I saw that number, like, hey, I think there's around a million digital games, or maybe a hundred thousand that are accessible today. I was just like, man, that would be like kind of an interesting experience to just one by one go through every single one of those games. You know, like in, a, in some weird future where our brains can be downloaded into a Hey, maybe Muffin Mang disconnected, eh? So I think swing for 10 here is good. I think it, I, I, I claim that it is good. Ow, 
ow, ow. This is why I think I need to speed up, is because that's sort of play. Just Steam has like 100,000 games. That's right, Real Delta. That's where I'm getting 100,000 for. From Steam has 100,000, and I think the broader internet, you can get access to like a million games. That was the that was the estimation. But yeah, no, like, imagine that, like, you know, you hit immortality, you can go into like some sort of hyperbolic time chamber where, you know, a million years in there is like a year in, in real life. You should play like every fucking game. Like, that would be so interesting. I'm real interested in shit like that. Thanks, Brian. All right. So we're gonna do this right now to give ourselves the opportunity to thin the deck of land. That is pretty fucking good, huh? 21 game? Or 21? 21 games. Draw first in case I get one of my other Deceive the Messengers. So I think I swing with the 6-6, six, six. maybe not the 4-4. Four, four. Okay, that's good. Cre create or sacrifice, I see. It's not death, okay. 20, if I drew another surrounded by orcs, that, that would definitely do it. Completely okay. Not a deal breaker for me. Really? Great. Let's do this. Oh, all right. Actually, th th this, this, this is the right way to do this. We leave up some food and stuff. Got him. We did it. Woo. So we'll do this pre combat. All right, nice. Surrounded him by orcs. Surrounded him by mill. Jackson says, yeah, my point is that most of us don't branch out from games we like. We don't want to try 100,000 games. But that, that's kind of kind of something I was thinking about, Raxon. Because, I mean, if you, if you asked me right now today, what do you want to do with your time? I'm like, there's just five games that I want to play, and that's it. Like, only those five. I will play those five games. Because everything else feels like it's not worth it. But that's just because I'm limited on time. I have shit to do. I have only so many hours in the day.
I want to just show them what I got. No. But like, you know, I, I'm, I'm, there's a lot of interesting sci-fi media about the idea of infinite time. And like actually having all the time, period. Like, what would you do? What would that existence be like? If this is some really dark horror that involves that as well. <laughs> It's all fun games to hit the PvP requirement. No, I mean, like, you know, let obviously that is a trivially <laughs> solvable problem because it's an example. Like, oh my god, like, listen, I was proposing if you had an infinite time because you could step into a hyperbolic time chamber and you'd play all of the games and you go, this doesn't check out. What if there's not a second player? Like, come on, come on. We can, we can, in this example where infinite time exists, we can also imagine I got a buddy who'll play with me, all right? We, 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 can, we can do that. Wow, we're five and one. <laughs> Toki. <laughs> that, no, let me tell you, that would be the funniest shit ever if I created my infinite time hyperbolic time chamber and then, like, I download StarCraft and I'm like, oh, yeah, I loved it. Oh. Shit, I should have got a buddy. Alright, this looks really, 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 really good. Mortar muster, nasty end. More door, muster, more door, muster, muster, muster. Elrond, Lord of Rivendell. If you keep getting super tempted, then the ring tempts you. Gothmog. Creature tokens have death touch. Great. I'm doing this. Now the Sauron is probably what I'll want to do. And again, I'm looking for land here. Ever says that's like the Twilight Zone episode where the guy has infinite time to read, but uh, his glasses fall off and break. Yeah, I mean, like famous, super famous. Love it. No. Whoa, Sworn the Dark Lord. Holy shit. Jesus, holy shit. I I declare Jesus a holy shit. That's death touch, so we're gonna say no. Mouth of Sauron. Counterspell. Got him. Bang. This fucking dude. Blah. Seven from heaven. Why not? Bang. And a lot of scrying happens. Is he, is he at level three or something? Da, 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 da. I think we're doing all right. Saruman into Haunt of the Dead Marshes. Swing for nine. All right. Is the ring tempting me, eh? 
What is the name of this spell that bounces shit? Soothing of Smeagol? Oh, it appears I've died. It appears I'm a dead dude. Is that... Blah. Yeah, no, that's the sound that I hear. I hear that, that Heroes 2 Dracula guy just going... Blah. Uh, are we fucked? Yep. Alright, I'm out. I will note this is a problem that our list has, and I'm amazed it took us this long a run into it, is that we just have a bunch of expensive shit. We have seven four mana spells. That's alright. Hell yeah. All right. Who does Lenials is anybody else's puppers losing their shit over fireworks? Oh, it's terrible. I gotta be honest, like... I feel like there should be designated fireworks zones. Like, not just because I don't like seeing my... dog CC and my cats just like, oh, oh, like freaking, you know? But also... Dude. There's like, there's like veterans that have like PTSD and having just like explosions going off once a year like, oh my god it's like one of these things where like you know it feels it, it feels like a, a baby version of the purge oh shit oh my god dude this thing is fucking so good holy shit Uh The Horn of Gondor, holy shit, man. Dude, he's just he's just doubling every turn. Not have a lot of turns left. Fuck! Dude, there's no way to win. I don't. I, I can't imagine anyone ever beating this. Like ever. It's way too good. I mean, like, like literally. What do you do? Too much. Do, 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 do. Fucking really? Screw you. Yeah. Blah. I mean, if I can somehow get another another surrounded by orcs, maybe, 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 maybe. But I mean, this is this is this is some shit right here. All right, this is the game. Eight. I mean, is that? Maybe we actually are okay. They have to swing this turn. Oh, okay, that's fucking great. We did it. We're we're the best player that's ever lived. Um, I 
Uh, let me make sure I can do this. Oh, I can't fucking quite do it. Ten and three, shit. They have 12 and 12 is 24, and this is 21. Fuck. Do this shit. Kind of need to get another deceive the messenger. The next turn I can do it. Fucker, man. <laughs> Shit. Ah, oh, fuck, dude. I hate the Horn of Gondor. It's too good. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. Ay, 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 ay. I mean... There's a couple cards in draft that, like, I just don't have a good way to deal with. But you don't got it. Alright, that's another, that's another five winner. So, I mean, we're going up. We're feeling positive.